and we have the Pioneers Athletic Corner, who's standing his place among the league's best with six picks this season. It's the Pioneers and the Black Knights, next on Madden Football. EA Sports coverage of the National Football League is on the air. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the Salt Lake City Pioneers and the London Black Knights. Alongside my partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Charles, you look at the Londoners as they get ready here. They come in playing pretty good football, winners of four of their last six games. Meanwhile, for the visitors, Salt Lake City, they were losers their last time out. They're going to try to get back in the win column, but obviously they're going to have to do that in a hostile environment. And sometimes it actually works to your advantage. Now you've got to band together your team, the us against the world mentality. Let's see if they can use it and get a victory. starting to get a bit longer. Week 10 of the NFL season is here and we're underway on EA Sports. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. So out comes this offense to take over for the first time. And leading the charge, their lefty QB. The secret to his game and his success, incredible chemistry with each and every one of the guys that catches passes with it. And not only does he ask him to stay after practice or meet him before practice, he actually demands it because he knows if they have that kind of chemistry built up, it'll be hard to beat each and every ball game. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be corralled right around the 34. 12 yards on the gain. A great start for this offense. That was good, tough running right up the middle. And if the defense can't penetrate and make him slow his pace or change direction, that's often the end result. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. The numbers for him from a week ago, 19 carries, 59 yards. They've won two straight games, and they've done it with the running game as the focal point of their offense. So in this contest, I don't think about doing anything else. I continue to ride the hot hand that I've established and lead with the runners. He's going to fire one deep left sideline. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And he's going to be out of bounds all the way down inside the 15. It's a big play there on third down. 51 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now back to throw. And they've got this down to about the 12-yard line. And they'll keep leaning on the running game back to the ground. And he'll be dropped at about the 11 after only a yard. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, this will be incomplete. The rush gets home just as he was letting that go. That could have been worse. Instead, it's fourth down. What an excellent defensive stand there in the red zone. Nice tight coverage. They certainly recognized how important it was to bring up fourth down here. Now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit here. From the left hash, a chip shot here. 
And his kick is good. And the opening drive of the game yields three. Well, that was a long, sustained opening drive, but in the end, only able to get three, the field goal out of it. And absolutely, you'll take the points and the early lead. You never get those back. But there will be a little bit of disappointment that they didn't punch it in for six after that kind of yardage and that kind of drive that they had. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. They'll try and start this drive in the air. Toward the sideline, and look at that catch. Dragging the toes, and that's going to be a first down. Well done. An excellent way to start the drive there, 18 yards. It's a nice zone breaker right there. Take the tight end, move him out to the slot, then have him run a corner route versus the zone coverage, which means he's going to be behind the, the, the shallow coverage and ahead of the deep coverage, put the ball right on him. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. They're going to look to throw. And his throw is going to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Pushing forward for three up to the 48. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. They'll look to throw here. He rifles one that's intercepted. And he'll get this one out to the 50 to the midfield strike. That's now his second interception in as many weeks from his linebacker position. And think about all the different techniques he has to employ in a passing situation. Is he spot dropping because it's zone? Is he picking up man to man? Is he having to run with a running back or a tight end? In any event, great eyes, head on a swivel, and excellent hands. Yeah, versatility and showing those hands. Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at their own 48-yard line. So a first interception thrown for him there, and that really not the best decision either. Not at all, and that's something he did not do in their victory last week. No interceptions in that game, but this defense, they're able to take advantage of an early mistake. Now let's see if they're going to turn it into points. Back onto the field comes this offense, ready for their second drive. They start near midfield following the interception as they begin first and ten. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run good for two. Here's second and eight. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Four yards on the pick up there as it'll leave him with a third and about four more for a first. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Like the footwork back there, I thought he did a pretty good job of evading that first wave of players. Tried to buy a little extra time out of the pocket, but in the end, oh, that was a tough one. Yeah, it winds up getting buried for the loss. Well, they bring their punter out there now as he's on to punt for the first time this afternoon. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And no return possible here as they angle this one out of bounds. London about set to take over on offense. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well, and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back 
but make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. He'll drop to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Fair catch called for and taken right near the 30-yard line. They'll call that a 33-yard punt with no return. And they will take over first and 10. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. They'll start this drive out on the ground to about the 33-yard line. These are his numbers from last week's contest. A boatload of carries, 68 yards. Not a horrendous week last week running the ball, but definitely room for improvement for their numbers. No doubt, they made some slight adjustments to how they're going to call plays this week in hopes they can kick those numbers up a notch. Here's second and eight. Looking middle, and that's complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. It's a gain of 13 for number 13, and it gives him a first down. To win any route, you've got to break down the defender, and that's exactly what happened here on this really nicely executed curl route. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. He'll look to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. A strong eight yards will keep this drive rolling. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. throw here on first down and this is going to be incomplete after the incomplete pass here now is second and ten he'll look to throw and that is incomplete here comes the eighth play of the drive and they need a full ten yards on third down back to throw and able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. And that one will be no good. He never had it online. It's well wide to the left, and instead of tying it up, they'll remain down by three. But, Brandon, anything beyond 50, you start rolling the dice a bit. And once you get up around 57, 58 yards, the chances of making it go down dramatically. And sure enough, this one winds up no good. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. And they entered play on a two-game win streak, and then they've got the open date on their schedule next week. So this is a group that's really looking to hit the break on a high note. And this will obviously be a tough game for them, but go ahead and play this out with me, partner. If they win here and make it three in a row, they get to heal up after that. You've got to think that's an ideal setup and a worthy goal to play for in this one. On play action, they'll throw toward the sideline, and that is a nice catch as he's able to tiptoe his way out of bounds. They'll set up to throw. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to be taken down right at the 40-yard line. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to, pick up a first down. Six, six, 
On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. The last run got a couple. Here's second and eight. They'll look to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he'll be brought down at the 27. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage, so timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And that will be incomplete. They couldn't hook up on what's going to be the final play of this first quarter. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. Second quarter now, and it's London with the football as they've got it with a second and ten. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And they're going to get this down inside the 20. The offense on third down, they've hit two for four thus far. Here it's third and three. And they'll run on the inside handoff. And he picks up the first down yardage as he takes this one down to the 15. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. I think they like this drive a little bit better there, partner. Running game helping out, picking up some of the slack. Because remember the last drive, they went three and out. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. They'll set up a throw. Over the middle, it's complete. That was the ninth play of the drive, and they pick up nine yards with it. From the five now, second and a yard. A play action fake. They'll look to throw. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And this is picked up by the defense. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And give some credit to the defense. They forced the big play, knocked the ball free from him, but that's a cardinal sin by the quarterback. Know where you are on the field, and he just gave up at a minimum three points. And instead of getting down, takes the contact. The turnover ensues. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Four and four, their record through eight games on the season. Would you say that this team has overperformed, underperformed, or are they kind of right where you thought that they would be? Do you mind if I say yes, yes, and yes? <laughs> because ultimately to me, four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really, really good. They've looked terrific. Other weeks where we wondered just how good is this team? They want to be consistent in their play, not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. Call it no gain on the keeper, and it's going to bring up a fourth down. And they'll send out their putter now, standing right on his own five-yard line. And a fair catch taken here right at about the 40-yard line. 37 yards on the punt with no return. And out will come the offense as they take over. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, partner, fast forward with me for a second. Remember, next week they have the open week, so they're going to get some extended rest. Does that change how they manage the rest of this one? I think it does a little bit, but not by too much, because you're right. You get the extra rest, you get a chance to heal up and kind of you know, do a little bit of a reset for this team. But it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. Now they'll run it on the toss. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Back to throw here. 
And that is incomplete. That is certainly one way to frustrate a quarterback. Run those extra defenders on the field. Dime package, lots of speed, no space to fit in the football. So they're forced to punt on fourth as this one's away. Oh, and what a play on special teams here. This is going to be down inside the five, all the way down at the two-yard line. And he's got to be fired up about that effort. I don't think he could have walked out and placed it any better than where he ended up putting the football. That was excellent. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. He's just been looking for some space. You know, I'm not going to pin it on him or the offensive line, but they need to get this run game going better. Sometimes you just have to credit the defense. They came in with a plan themselves. So I think now you try and mix things up a little bit. Get the ball in the hands of some other people. Find some other playmakers. But always let the defense believe that he's still a threat. I was going to say, don't forget about it. No, don't take him totally out of the game. They'll try to get forward, but he's going to be stopped in his tracks at about the three. And they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And they'll get him down up past the 15. They were looking for a cushion from that end zone. He gave it to him. 15 big yards. I think I saw a lot of shoulders just drop there. And what I mean by that is they finally were able to relax a little bit because that was an important play call. They needed to pick up that first down at this stage of the game. Yeah, couldn't afford another quick drive and out. They'll look to throw now on first down. And that is going to be incomplete as he led him a bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now here's a handoff out of the gun. And he'll take this one up to about the 23. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. That flag accepted, and it backs the offense up a little bit. And this offense back to needing 10 yards after the full start. Third and 10. Looking to throw. He's going to look deep down the field. He's got a man complete. Pass the 20. And touchdown. A great play there. His fifth touchdown now on the year. And the Pioneers have moved out in front. And that looked almost to be a case of, you know, a quarterback saying, hey, I'm going to throw this as far as I can and hope you run under it. Mission accomplished. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. Yeah, and you see the final number there on how far that ball traveled. Pretty impressive. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes it a 7-3 lead. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Fielded right around the 8. And he takes this near the 25. Just a little pass there. Call it the 26. So already not the best of kick returns there, but that penalty, that adds insult to injury and backs him up even closer to the goal line. Yeah, not ideal field position to begin a drive, is it? Because the extra pressure now goes on the offense. They've got to get some early yards and get away from the shadow of their own goal post. What every offense wants to do in this situation, get two first downs to help out with field position at the least. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open, just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. Back to throw now on first down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. Second and three. Throwing middle, and it's complete. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his man in stride, complete. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. 
That one good for 20 on the catch and run. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Back to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Again, he'll drop to throw. That's going to be complete on the sideline, but, you know, that throw left him no room to run, and the good footwork nearly all for knock. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And some determined running there as he'll pick his way down to the 12-yard line. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Some big plays in the passing game on this drive, and here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll drop to throw. And this is incomplete. Very lucky to get that one back. That nearly picked. It's second down now. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. And he will be brought down, but a first and goal coming up as we have come upon the two-minute warning. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets him up now first and goal. Two minutes to play in this first half. 7-3, our score. So it's first and goal and a great opportunity to get that lead back before the break. Now back to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab. And the Black Knights are able to move back in front. Well, Charles, he's still a young signal caller in this league, second year in the NFL. I don't know if last year as a rookie if he would have worked to his progressions like he did on that touchdown pass. I think you're right about that. We're seeing him grow up right in front of our eyes because when he went to his primary read, he recognized that they were all over that. So he continued to survey the field, picked up another target, delivered a pass exactly where it needed to be. A very mature play for the second-year quarterback. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And no effort to bring this one out. It's a touchback. Salt Lake City's offense back onto the field. As this offense comes back out here, Charles, they're trailing in this ball game, And they've been on the sideline for a while. They did score their last time out, but they just had to watch that long, sustained drive. So we'll see if they can shake the rust off. Yeah, and that's always a, a question that you have when you have to come off the bench after having sat there for a long time. Are you ready to go? Are you loosened up? But even more so, are you mentally alert and ready to put your best product out there? Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. Four yards the pick up, first down. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. Here's a throw to his running back. It's complete. And the offense moving quickly to the line. They'll look to throw again. And he'll slide to a halt here. Still a little shy of the first down marker. Now the offense going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Certainly not the way they drew it up in the playbook, but that's why they love this guy back there. He sees things breaking down, and he's more than capable of finding an escape route and still getting a decent gain. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. Now he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. The drive stays alive. A third down gain of eight. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? On first down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to find his running back. It's complete. Now another timeout called for by the offense 
As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in half number one. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. Out of the gun now on third down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he's going to have a first down, and they get into field goal range here at the 29. And he slides and covers up at the end as he's going to be able to pick up decent yardage. Now the offense will burn their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. And the 12-year veteran knocks it right through, and that will knot us up at 10. Well, maybe a nice psychological boost there just to get back to even with that field goal as we head towards half. Coaching 101 always says at halftime, play it like it's 0-0 on the scoreboard. Well, in this case, it's level, right? Same score each side. Just start over. Now you get the second half to play. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. The offense back out there at the line ready for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. They'll throw now on the final play. He's going to loft one deep over the middle. And that will be incomplete. Try to dial up the long one way out there, but it'll be third down. So thanks to the late field goal, we are all tied up heading to intermission. As it's time now to send you back stateside to Orlando, Florida, and check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute, but first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll start over in Texas at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. And that one closing in on halftime with the Cowboys out on top. The Cow Halftime over, no problem with us. We skip right to the third quarter and continue this midseason contest. Okay, Coach, yeah, adjustments likely going to play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. And this offense set to go now to begin the third quarter. It's a tie football game here. What do you think, Charles, the message was at halftime? Well, I think that they probably just looked at things and said, we're fortunate. And he lost the football. And the defense will get their hands on it, going the other way. And they'll have a short field to work with inside the 15 at the 13-yard line. So this game tied at the half. And if you wondered who would come up with the first big play in this third quarter, we have our answer. Well, in basketball, you know how they tell you to have active hands defensively? I think the same thing applies here. Nice job there, prying the ball free. And now their guys have a chance to take the lead if they can put something together. The beauty of doing it in football, you don't get called for a foul if you hit their arms. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And that'll make it second down. He'll drop to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown! A nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Black Knights take the force fumble and convert it into six points. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play you would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Extra point right down the middle, and that makes it a 17-10 score. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taken in at the three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. This offense hoping to do better than last drive. Remember, they had the fumble that set up the short field, and then they gave up the touchdown CD. And so many people talk about how you have to have a short memory after you make a mistake in the NFL. 
I don't totally subscribe to that, partner. I think that you have to remember what you did and figure out how to not do it again. Get out there and execute the next time out. Avoid those errors and get some momentum built back up for your offense. And the defense has it covered. It's intercepted. And he will take this one home. It's a touchdown. Well, Charles, just some visibly frustrated players and coaches on that sideline right now because those halftime adjustments didn't work. The turnover problems continuing here in the second half, and the defense now sitting pretty comfortably as a result of that pick six. I think that's a great observation, too, Brandon, because they did make adjustments at halftime. But how about this other group staying a step ahead despite whatever happened in that other locker room? No surprise they're leading, and it's appropriate that those defenders got to add to the lead directly. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 47 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I'm okay with the call there. In fact, I actually like it. I know they're down a couple of scores, but the running game worked in that situation. I would continue to go in that direction. Right back to him on first down. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. They'll look to throw here. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. And they'll take over inside the 45 at the 44-yard line. So their woes on offense continue. That's the second pick thrown here in the third quarter. And we know it was ill-advised, but that was an opportunity to help them get back into the game. Instead, he throws another interception, and now their task is even tougher. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Now this drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. We use the word relentless a lot with guys who are aggressive on the field. In this case, it really fits, doesn't it? How about his ability to break tackles and his feet never stop moving? From the 34 now, here's first and 10. They're going to look to throw. Got a man, and he hits him in stride. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And they'll work from the 29 on second and six. Now they try the right side here. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Now they'll throw here, out of the gun. And able to catch it on the left sideline, but they're going to rule him out of bounds. So it'll be incomplete, certainly one they'd like to have back as it brings up fourth down. 
And this will split the uprights. It's right down the middle, and that will extend their lead even further. Well, they're able to come away with the interception, Charles. They aren't able to move the ball all that much. However, they do get three out of it with a field goal. Yeah, and anytime you do force a turnover, you have to come out of it with points. Everybody wants six. They'll take the three there. Now it's their opportunity to do it again. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Salt Lake City's offense back onto the field. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Hands it off out of the gun. And some room to run now. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Here's second and eight. Nowhere to go here. He lost the football. And the defense has come up with it. The pocket collapsed around him. I know we talk about it a lot, but a QB has to have that sixth sense, doesn't he? He really does, and I know of one team at one point was training their quarterback with that time frame, and any time he didn't get rid of the ball within the, the right amount of time, they would blow a horn or blow a whistle to show him this is what that time is, just what you're talking about, training him to understand this is the amount you have, make sure the ball's gone. Didn't happen in this case from the gun he'll hand this off and nothing much materializing there on the first down run he'll get a couple and that's it back to throw and a quick throw here that's complete and he's brought down inside the 20 at the 18 yard line and the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath if they've got good hands, then, of course, they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play, and that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Here's a give up the middle, and he'll get about three as he's taken down at the 14-yard line. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown. A great effort there. With his second TD of the game, his sixth on the year. And the Black Knights get another third quarter touchdown to add on to that lead. So they're able to capitalize there on the short field, and that might prove to be the score that turns out the lights. The party's over. Oh, sorry about that. That's an old reference there, folks. But, yeah, they've been the better of the two teams by far, and that's great complimentary football right there. Defense gets the turnover, sets up the short field, and the offense goes right out and scores to open up a pretty sizable lead. Point after, right down the middle. And the lead is now 24. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Fielded right around the eight. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. It's a game that they would rather probably forget about, at least to this point, Charles. And one reason is turnovers. The turnover on the last drive, they had the issue in the first half as well. And that's really, unfortunately for them, helped to put this game out of reach. And you know they won't admit it to themselves. But we know that winning the game is pretty much out of the picture now. So their bottom line is, how do they play a clean game the rest of this one, right? Take care of the football, no more turnovers, and see how that works. He's going to float this one deep right side. Touchdown! A big play there. 63 yards. And the Pioneers are able to cut into that deficit. Well, if they're going to make a game of this in the second half, they need a few big plays to go their way. That's one. And the way to get it done is to also conserve time. So to your point, that big play right there, 
Now you're not moving the ball downfield, taking time off the clock. You're leaving yourself a better avenue to continue to try and make a comeback. They'll look to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Tough there. Good pass. Hit the hands. He just couldn't bring it in. And every receiver's coach everywhere. Seeing that play, focus, focus, focus. Watch it all the way in and tuck it away. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. And he'll just sit on this one as their drive will start at the 25. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. Most of their damage has been done through the air. I mean, they've rung the bell three times with passing touchdowns, but guess what? Ground game has not been neglected. Nice little burst right there. So one play, and they're already just shy of midfield. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Here's the second and seven. And he's got his man on the out route. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. Let's not quibble about the gain there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives a much better opportunity to convert on third down. Well, it's a nickel set here defensively on third and inches. Still want to be prepared for a pass. One back in the backfield. He'll get the carry. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. They're able to convert with a gain of four. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? Lava has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and ten. Right back to him on first down. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. On third down, they're going to run for it here. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Run blitz there defensively, something we might see more of here in the fourth quarter. I think we'll see a lot of it, and the difference between that and a pass blitz, pass blitz, you're just trying to get to the quarterback. You're trying to scheme someone open who will get to the QB and make sure he gets on the ground. In a run blitz, you're actually trying to cover up gaps, trying to cover up holes so they can't run the football. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. Well, this drive, they're a perfect two of two on third down conversions, but they need a full 10 yards here. 
One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he'll get this to the 23, but that'll be well short of what he needed. Call it a gain of three, and it'll bring up fourth down. And that last carry puts him right at 100 yards for the game. So how has he done it? Because he's been patient, followed his blocks, let everything develop, and then burst through for big gains. So now here comes the field goal team for the third time today. This is a 40-yard attempt from the left hash. And this one is right through. And that will extend their lead even further. Well, ultimately not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. Salt Lake City's offense back onto the field. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Now he dumps this off over the middle, and he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. He'll look to throw. It's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Call that a gain of 11. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They've controlled this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he's going to be taken down just shy of the 35. Well, those are the types of plays they probably wish they had made more of in the first three quarters. And this deficit is going to be tough to overcome here in the fourth. But a nice first down and a pickup on that throw. Yeah, and this is where as coaches, you're looking for effort and execution, even though the scoreboard is going against you. You want to find out who's going to fight, who's going to scrap, who's going to keep their heads up and continue to play. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And this time not quite to the 30. It'll be down at the 31-yard line. Back to throw here. And he's taken to the ground, but he was pulled down by the face mask. Here come the flags, and I believe this is going to be a first down. So a big turn of events there. They had him sacked on third down, but the hand of the face is going to give him new life. And when it comes to protecting quarterbacks, partners, you well know, these officials are not going to hesitate if they see a tug on the mask. Heck, if they see a hand up near the mask, the flag's going to come out. Following the penalty, they'll go back to the run game. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he will be brought down at about the six-yard line. 65 yards rushing for him in the ball game now on 14 carries. So after a run like that, I will guarantee that the head coach is saying to himself, maybe even over his headsets to the rest of the staff, 
Where was that all game long? <laughs> we needed that. That's the type of run we planned for going into the game. Didn't get much of that, but let's move it forward. Let's build on it, get ready for the next week, and let's go play. He'll look to throw. And it's caught. Touchdown from six yards away. And the Pioneers have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Extra point splits the uprights, and the lead will be cut down to 14. So that drive consumes nine plays all told. Takes it at the seven. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. And now this offense comes back out onto the field. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. Buried by multiple defenders on the drive's first play. Well, this certainly feels like complimentary football to me, partner, because the momentum from the team's touchdown drive looks like it's made its way over to the defense. They're working together in tandem now. Offense gets in the end zone. Defense with a big sack on the first play of the following drive. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? And on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. So a good punt there, but a very strong 14-yard return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. Their defense was able to force the punt. That's the good news. But this is still a two-score game, and they need points on this drive and in a relatively quick manner. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Now before the second down play, we'll get whistles and a timeout. And as the two teams talk it over on their respective sidelines, we take a break. Under four to play now. Clock running, third down. Looking to throw. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he went backwards. He'll be down at the 30. It'll be a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. Well, we know the guys up front have to protect when it's a pass play, but it's really out wide. Sometimes you're gonna swing a tight end or maybe even offensive tackle to get out there, but most of the time, it's fellow wide receivers, and they really weren't up to the task there, were they? Do you like that call on your own side of the field? I don't mind that call at all, just about anywhere. But the key is you have to have the confidence, and then they have to execute their blocking assignments. Otherwise, you get the end result we just saw there. The time to pull out the stops is now, and they convert there on fourth down. But correct me if I'm wrong, you're down two scores. I don't think you need to rush just yet, but you can't take your time either. Yeah, even if you don't want to commit to full two-minute offense, you have to up the tempo, up the urgency. Maybe you're starting to call two plays in a huddle each time you snap the ball. Back to throw again. Throwing right, and that's complete. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. 
And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's our visitors with a football as we get you reset. They've got a first and 10 as they search for a late score. Now a throw here to his running back, and he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. Now they got to get to the line quickly. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. A pickup of about three yards as he's taken down at the 31. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. Counting down toward a minute to go in this football game. And he's caught on the sideline, but he's not going to have a first down. They say he was out of bounds. So a big call there that brings up fourth. They'll try and run for it. Yeah, brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle and the extra effort moves the sticks. They'll look to throw here on first down. And this is caught for a touchdown. So hang on now. Things just got a little bit more interesting here in the final minute. I'm not sure win-win is the proper term here, but it certainly felt like it. They got the touchdown they needed, but if I'm on the defensive side of the ball, okay, you got the touchdown, but it sure took you a long time. Yeah, because offensively, though, you're probably hoping for a one-to-five play drive. That one ate up a little more time than they were hoping. You're exactly right, and if you have that one-to-five play drive, you actually build up momentum and even more hope. When they had to slog their way downfield, they got the touchdown, but it's almost like, ah. Yeah. Yeah, you know. It doesn't you got, feel right. Exactly. <laughs> That one in the books as a 12-play drive. So still a little over 40 seconds to go. Time enough to put a drive together if they can get this onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hands team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number, kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Now a second timeout called for by the defense as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. Victory very much in sight now as they'll take a knee. Now the defense will burn their third and final timeout as it'll come with 36 seconds to go in half number two. We'll see what they have drawn up here a little bit behind the line. 12 yards needed to gain a first down. Well, taking that knee, maybe just a sigh of relief. They withstood a big fourth quarter comeback. Able to hold on, though. Certainly looked like they had things going their way, didn't it? In the fourth quarter, they had to just hold on. As you said, furious assault on them. But they were able to get it done, take a knee, and head to the locker room with a win. What a game we were treated to in this one. And on that final play, they had a chance. They had the ball just beyond midfield for one final shot, but couldn't get it done, and they suffered the loss. Yeah, and you mentioned how they had a chance on that final play, and getting it to midfield gave them that opportunity, hoping they could find their way to the end zone and make that miracle happen. A really good ending to an entertaining contest, though. So for the home team here, they keep pace for a playoff spot as they move to 7-3. And, and they'll be able to enjoy this one through the bye week before they get back at it again. Meanwhile, for our visitors, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. And, and they will try to get back in the swing of things next week on the road. 